Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a chalk drawing to share with you today. We are doing our Waldorf inspired main lesson block for math for my nine year old daughter and I have collected a number of books and games and other resources for this main lesson block. You can find out more details about how I put this main lesson block together down in the description box below. For this chalk drawing, I am using my Sargent Art Square Chalk Pastels. We're going to be using the whole rainbow of colors and I kind of did a little sketch here to make sure that I would do the colors in the correct order that I wanted and I actually do it a little bit different than my sketch. I also have my yardstick and a cloth to wipe down our chalk drawing. Because I use these chalk pastels it does require me to use a wet towel in order to really get all of the chalk off and rather than use a dry towel first I just start with my wet towel and then we don't have any chalk dust. Okay, so I'm going to use my yardstick in order to measure out a square and it works out just right because this is a yardstick so that's 36 inches and I'm going to do a 36 inch square and that means that every box gets to be 3 inches square and that actually works out really well for most of the numbers. Now it does get a little bit tight trying to write the three digit numbers into those little squares but overall I think it works out just right. My chalkboard is a four foot by six foot chalkboard so it's nice and large and instead of going all the way from the top to the bottom and making this a four foot uh, square. I thought it was a little bit better just to do a three foot square because I usually put a number of books and other resources at the bottom of our chalkboard. Wanted to make sure that my daughter could see the whole times table. So now we're going to have a little bit of fun uh, kind of filling in this times table with different colors. You absolutely don't need to do this at all, but by doing different colors along each of these uh, blocks so that the three times table gets a certain color and then the red is for the four and so on and so forth. It really helps the students see patterns in a really beautiful way and then ultimately it makes it really easy to find different mathematical operations that answer to them. If I'm posing a question like four times five then my daughter can quickly and easily trace through the different colors and then find the answer. So I'm going to go from the yellow, like a nice bright yellow at the very bottom, and then radiate out in rainbow order, trying to go with darker colors as we radiate out. But by the time I got to my greens, I realized that I should have done a few more in the blue family because I end up with three different color greens, which is fine, but it ends up being kind of light at the end. But it was better than doing another yellow at the end, even though yellow barely gets to make an appearance because it's just at the one times one. So once I get all the color in, it's time to go back over with uh, the chalk to make the grid again because that got absorbed into <laughs> the colors once I put the colors down. And then we need to actually fill in our times table. Now I did use black chalk for all of the square numbers and then I used white chalk for the rest of the answers and it turns out okay but it's a little bit hard to read and once this whole chalk drawing is done I actually end up ordering a chalk marker in order to go back over some of the numbers and I'm going to show you that at the end of this video. And you can also find comparison pictures on the blog post that accompanies this uh, video. Okay, so you, you need to shake it and then pump the liquid down into the tip. And it works best if it's on a clean chalkboard. So I did try to erase the numbers as best as I could before I wrote over them. When you don't do that, you will damage the tip and you will clog it up and it just gets all this chalk dust on it. So I use a little bit of felt on the end of a dowel in order just to erase the number. I didn't want to start all over. And anyway, you would be coloring in all of your blocks and having to uh, write over them anyway. And then once you erase it, then it, it does work a little bit easier. But you can see that there's a little bit of residue from the chalk on the tip of our marker. I'm pleased with the results and I think that it works pretty well, so I end up doing the entire times table. You can see those before and after pictures on the blog post that accompanies this video. And don't forget that you can also check out the entire math playlist. That link is down in the description box below. And I detail how I put this unit together and how we do our Waldorf inspired approach for our main lesson block. If you'd like to see some of the other videos in this math series, you can tap on the screen right now. 
Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video. You can find it on my website at pepperandpine.com where you can find more tutorials as well as links to the products that I use during this video. And if you want to see how our homeschool is progressing on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at pepperandpine.